topic of our lecture is Contemporary Approaches to Studying Intercultural Communication. The learning objectives of our lecture is to introduce students to the four approaches to studying intercultural communication and to give students an understanding of how they can use these different approaches. According to the outline of our lecture, the first question is the social science approach, the second is the interpretive approach, the third one is the critical approach, and the fourth one is the dialectical approach. As we have already mentioned before, today we will introduce you to the four approaches to studying intercultural communication and give you an understanding of how you can use these different approaches when developing projects and to address global challenges at the local level. The four primary approaches to the study of intercultural communication are social science, interpretive, critical and dialectical. The various approaches to intercultural communication scholarship have their roots in the disciplines that helped shape the field. These disciplines are anthropology, linguistics and psychology. The influence of each of these fields can be seen in the way we study communication across cultures today. The field of linguistics helps us understand the relationship between language and other cultural systems. The field of anthropology helps us recognize cultural patterns and realize the importance of nonverbal communication. The field of psychology brings to light the role of human cognition in understanding and categorizing the patterns of behavior of members of other cultures. The social science approach is based on the assumptions that human behavior is predictable and that there is a describable external reality. This approach, also called the functionalist approach, is based on research in the field of sociology and psychology. Scholars seek to describe and predict behavior by using the social science approach and they frequently rely on quantitative methods. These scholars believe that culture is a measurable variable and that culture influences communication in much the same way as personality traits do. The goal of the social science approach is to predict how culture influences communication. Scholars seek to study the way culture influences communication by using the social science approach. For example, a social science researcher might wish to examine the way members of different cultural groups use email, the internet and other electronic media to communicate with members of them in groups to establish virtual communities. In such a study, they would be likely to isolate specific variables, like the topics cover on websites or the level formality of use in email messages. Describe and predict behavior. These are the goals of the social scientist. One particular theory useful for this kind of research is communication accommodation theory. This model focuses on the ways in which individuals adjust their communication with others. When you tell the story of a college party to a friend or to a parent, do you tell it the same way? Do you leave out or highlight certain details? 
is the kinds of decisions you make when telling a story reflect the ways in which you accommodate your communication to your specific audience. In general, there are two types of accommodation, conversion and divergence. When we converge our communication, we make it more like the person or persons with whom we are speaking. We attempt to show our similarity with them through our speech patterns. When we diverge, we attempt to create distance between our audience and ourselves. Here we want to stress our difference from others or our uniqueness. Using social scientific approaches as applied to communication uh, accommodation theory, researchers may attempt to define, describe and predict what sort of verbal and nonverbal acts can produce the, the desired convergent or divergent effects. Interpretive researchers are interested in describing human behaviors which they believe to be unpredictable and creative. They believe that culture is both created and perpetuated through the means of communication. The interpretive researchers, qualitative research methods that originated in the field of anthropology and linguistics. These methods include field studies, ethnographies, observations and participants' observations. Interpretive researchers typically become directly involved with members of the communities they are studying and often form close relationships with them. The interpretive approach studies culture from the perspective of members of the cultures being studied rather than through a framework imposed by the researcher. Researchers using the interpretive approach are interested in describing culture, not in predicting behavior. They seek to find and describe patterns in communication and approach research in a holistic and subjective way. Interpretive researchers seek to answer questions related to what it means to be a member of a particular community and how participants in communities achieve membering. Like the social scientists, Interpretive scholars want to describe behavior, but because of the importance of the individual context, they do not assume accurate and generalizable predictions can be made, as they are particularly relevant to intercultural communication research. We will discuss the following two methodologies in this section, ethnography and co-cultural research. Since interpretivists believe in the subjective experience of each cultural group, it makes sense that they should select to study intercultural communication as used in particular speech communities. A speech community, according to Himes, is a community sharing rules for the conduct and interpretation of speech and rules for the interpretation of at least one linguistic variety. The critical approach views reality as subjective and focuses on the importance of studying the context in which communication occurs. Critical scholars view culture in terms of power struggles and study cultural differences specifically as they relate to unequal distribution of power within society. They are interested not only in studying human behavior across cultures, but also in affecting change in society. They believe that by their study and analysis of the role of power in cultural encounters, 
they can assist people in opposing the oppressive forces in society. Critical scholars believe that the goal of intercultural research is to identify and make explicit power differences in order to liberate those individuals who lack power in society. In examining the role of communication in creating group identities, critical scholars wish to deconstruct assumptions about reality in order to challenge social realities that reinforce exploitations of some groups within society. In most nations, power is not distributed equally between the majority and minority cultures. Scholars using the critical approach often conduct analysis of media and other aspects of popular culture. For example, while governments around the world advocate the necessity of computer skills in the global marketplace, the reality of public policies often serve to reinforce rather than eliminate inequalities. Critical scholars have argued that computer practices actually perpetuated racial ethnic inequalities and reinforce stereotypes. The digital divide can be studied from the perspective of larger social, economic and political issues that drive public policy decisions regarding technology. Critical scholars seek to find ways to understand these issues in order to help close the digital divide and take advantage of the potential of technology to create greater social equality. According to the critical approach, critical race theory explores the role of race in questions of justice, equal access and opportunity. The social science, critical and interpretive approaches to studying intercultural communication are all valuable. However, these approaches may seem to contradict with one another. In order to address the potential contradictions among these approaches, the dialectical approach to studying intercultural communication has been developed. The dialectical approach acknowledges the value of the social science, critical and interpretive approaches at the same time. It requires that we do not limit ourselves to the perspective provided by one of these approaches. The dialectical approach calls for the simultaneous acceptance of all three perspectives. An acceptance of multiple perspectives expands our perception of the world and allows us to create new categories and to see the context pot potential of the study of intercultural communication. These dialectics all relate to four building blocks of intercultural communication with culture, communication, context and power. Cultural individual, this dialectic refers to the fact that communication is both cultural and individual. All people share some communication patterns with members of groups to which they belong. At the same time, all people also have unique individual communication patterns that are idiosyncratic. Personal contextual. This dialectic has to do with the relationship between the social roles 
that we play and how they interact with our communication patterns on the personal level. Social context often shape the behavior of individuals. Rules related to our social position and our professional standing may influence on our communication behavior. Some social rules require that we behave in a very formal manner, the way a lawyer in a courtroom or scientist in a laboratory communicates will be a result of the context in which or he is operating. Differences similarities. This dialectic recognizes the fact that people are simultaneously both similar to and different from one another in many ways. These similarities and differences exist both within and across cultures. These are real differences between the way members of various cultures communicate. Static dynamic, this dialectic examines the fact that culture and communication patterns are both static and dynamic. Some cultural and communication patterns are relatively stable while at the same time cultures are evolving and changing. History, past, present, future. This dialectic refers to the need to be aware of both present conditions and historical influences as they affect intercultural communication. Summarizing, the dialectical approach brings together the strengths of the social science, critical and interpretive approaches to studying intercultural communication. It allows for a much broader perspective on the study of communication across national identities and prevent us from falling into dichotomies that tend and reduce rather than enlarge our views of our cultures.